Is North Carolina running back Omarion Hampton the top running back in college football? Is he also the top NFL draft prospect at the running back position? I will break it all down for you by discussing his skill set and his NFL draft prospects right here on Football Scout 365. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you to check out our website, footballscout365.com, where you can find our NFL draft big board, all of our NFL draft written analysis, and our written fantasy football content. You can find all of that and more on our website, footballscout365.com. In addition, please check out all of our other analysis videos here on the channel. We have NFL draft content that dates all the way back to the 2021 NFL draft cycle. You can find in-depth film analysis covering names like Aiden Hutchinson, CJ Stroud, Trevor Lawrence, JJ McCarthy, and a lot more right here on our channel, Football Scout 365. All right, let's talk about Amarion Hampton out of the University of North Carolina. Hampton is a former four-star recruit, according to 24-7 Sports, from the class of 2022. He entered college football as a 153rd ranked player nationally. He was ranked 11th at his position and fifth in the state of North Carolina. He attended Cleveland High School in Clayton, North Carolina, which is about an hour southeast of Chapel Hill. He had a lot of offers coming out of high school, uh, names like Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, and LSU, uh, but he ultimately chose his home state, North Carolina Tar Heels. Now, in terms of his high school stats, Hampton put up over 5,000 rush yards and 88 rushing touchdowns in four years at Cleveland High School in Clayton, North Carolina. Now fast forward to his time at North Carolina in terms of production. He played in nearly every game in 2022. He was part of a committee of backs that would see quarterback Drake May actually be the leading rusher on the team. One of the reasons for the lower rushing production for North Carolina as a team in 2022 was a struggling offensive line. The Tar Heels offensive line ranked 112 nationally in run blocking grade, according to Pro Football Focus. Now, if we move ahead to the 2023 season, Hampton took off in a massive way. He rushed for over 1,500 yards. He had 15 rushing touchdowns. He added over 200 more yards as a receiver with another touchdown. In terms of the advanced data, he led the nation in yards after contact as a runner in 2023. He was 15th in forced missed tackles. He posted 35 explosive runs of 10 plus yards or more. Everything in the data, it correlates to his actual on-field game. When you talk about the yards after contact, he is a powerful runner who understands how to use his densely built lower half to power through traffic, and he has solid enough agility to make defenders miss in space. On top of all of that, he is a patient runner. He allows things to actually set up in front of him. He has great vision, and once he sees the hole, he has an explosive burst where he hits it, and the next thing you know, he is at the second and third level of the defense. Another aspect of his game, and I already mentioned it already, is his powerful lower half. On tape, in short yardage or goal to go situations, Hampton uses that powerful frame and that dense lower half to muscle his way forward for positive yards or touchdowns in the low red zone. Now, in terms of his ability as a receiver, he's gonna do most of his damage out of the backfield as a receiver on screens and swings. He's not going to line up in the slot. He's not gonna line up out wide and run routes but that does not mean he is not a versatile three down back. He's also a very capable blocker out of the backfield as well. He still needs a little bit of work in that department. He had some elite moments in 2023, but he also had some not so great moments in that department as well. So that's something to keep an eye on as we move forward uh, in the 2024 college football season. So as far as player comparisons, uh, when I first started watching his tape, the one player that came to mind was Nick Chubb when he was at the University of Georgia. Both he and Hampton are similarly built players. Both can run with power and they have the ability to make you miss in space. I do think Chubb is a bit more sneaky in terms of making you miss in space, but the similarity in, in terms of style of play is what really stands out to me. Now, as far as his NFL draft capital is concerned, it's still very early, but I currently have him graded as a third round NFL draft prospect. I can see a world where he does sneak into the second round uh, if he can explode once again, as he did in 2023. If he can come out in 2024 and put up big numbers once again, show a little more versatility as a receiver out of the backfield, I think that he has a great opportunity to jump into the middle or late second round of the 2025 NFL Draft. All right, that will do it for the Omarion Hampton early analysis. Let me know your thoughts. Is he the top running back in the 2025 NFL Draft class? Is he at least the top five running back? Or is he not even on your mind as a top back in this draft class? Leave a comment and let us know what you think. Once again, I want to say thank you for the support. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more great NFL draft content.